Hi, this is Dave Sander with this week's BuzzBite report here at anglingbuzz.com. Well, the good weather has finally come to an end, folks. Uh, our, our sunny, warm weather that we've had in November has now turned to snow. Uh, pr pr just prior to that, we had lots and lots and lots of rain up in the upper Midwest. In fact, if it had been a little colder, we'd be, be about up to our eyeballs in snow right now. But as it was, it came down in rain. But it is changing to snow, and the forecast for the foreseeable future is cold temperatures, kind of some nasty wind, and it's a transition time between the late cold water and the early parts of freeze-up where the, uh, a lot of people don't go out, but the hardcore, guy, hardcore guys are still out fishing. And uh, something Mike Frisch said from his Western Minnesota report, well, he talked about going out and fishing some of the deep classic structure late, late in the season, a uh, good chance to, to locate some fish as well as catch some, and a good time to bring your uh, portable GPS out or just mark some GPS coordinates uh, on your unit uh, where you just caught maybe the last couple of catches of your walleyes and then you can transfer it over to your ice fishing unit for your first few forays out onto the ice because that is where the fish will be when the ice first becomes uh, thick enough to walk on. Now if you want to still continue to do some open water fishing, the hardcore guys like we talked about, the musky boys are still out fishing uh, some of the steep breaking shorelines and mid lake uh, rock shoals where ciscos come up to spawn when the water's in the low 40s. And that's when some, some of the biggest muskies of the year will be caught in the next week or two, uh, casting big baits, predominantly big soft plastic baits. Now, if you're a walleye angler, there's a few big major rivers in the upper Midwest. There's a still good place to go fish for walleyes. That would be uh, near any of the dams on the Missouri River, uh, probably the, uh, I would say, the Rainy River flowing into uh, Lake of the Woods is a real good place to get walleyes right now. And of course, the upper Mississippi, like from Minneapolis on down, uh, has got a lot of good walleye action up near the dams where you do some vertical jigging. So if you want to get your boat wet, you can still get out and do that. Uh, the Bass Boys, I'm sorry, folks, uh, that fishing is kind of coming to an end for right now. And we're going to have to be waiting for, uh, for the ice to start firming up where we can make our first few tentative steps out there, start catching some, some panfish and some walleye. So we're changing over from one one version of fishing to the other. Uh, if you uh, have your boat put away, you can still slip your waders on, folks. And you want to be fishing uh, where you have uh, bridges between lakes, where you have uh, rivers or creeks flowing into a lake. It's a good place to go out and catch walleyes at night. You can wade out knee deep, chest deep, cast a uh, uh, suspending crankbait out there, work it slow. You got a chance to catch a big walleye too. So. There are options to go out and catch fish. It just kind of depends if you're tough enough to do it. But the rewards can be very good. Okay, uh, if you want to check in and see what our guys out in the field have, have to say about the fishing in the upper Midwest, click on our state-by-state -state guide and see what our different reporters have to say. And like I always like to say, they'll help you catch more and bigger fish in the weeks ahead.